Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a chilly but beautiful Florida morning. It is 45 degrees, and we're starting out at the mailbox house. Now, I had some Christmas lights that was from some folks in the neighborhood. Hmm. Gotta watch out for you. Yeah. Three mailboxes to fill up. That's very cool. All right. Empty truck. Computer shell with some, again from the neighbors, a little bit of garland thrown in there. Let's see what we can find today. A garage door opener. Kind of already has a red flag on it. <laughs> there we go. Your washing machine. We go. Now, as I always say with appliances, if you have the time and the space, you want to break them down, uh, open up the backs, and get the electronic panel off if you can. Uh, there's insulated copper wire in there. There's a motor in there. Those are all good things If you have the space and the time to do that, I usually don't so for me 
these tend to end up going straight to the uh, yard just like they are. Sometimes I have the time to be able to go break them down uh, before I take them in. Uh, but that's kind of an infrequent thing for me, so... Although I do have, I have videos out there showing you how to do it uh, because I have done it. I do it, well, like I said, I do it when I can. So I've got videos of how to do it. Yeah. All right, that is a taut line hitch. You can see, you can make it tight. It binds up on the on the line itself so it doesn't pull loose but then when you want to pull it loose all you got to do is pull that back and you can untie it all right let's see what else we can find we get a little cord food here else of interest. Literature books, science books. Would you like a book on literature, science, mathematics? <laughs> stuff inside of this one. It's one less thing that needs to be in there. I may bring the truck closer. Or I may not. This really is not heavy. <laughs> That's amazingly light. <laughs> For its size. So we know there's no transformer in there. As light as that thing is, holy cow. I usually don't block driveways. I don't like blocking driveways. I'm gonna just real quick take a look at what we got here though. Some weird shoes. handbags, some oatmeal. Anybody want some oatmeal? Jewelry box. Nada nada. Paint stuff. Yeah. games a little piece of pipe well I really had to park far away this time cuz this piece of ubiquitous wire shelving was right on the corner and I didn't want to have the truck on the corner so It'd take a little stroll. That's all right. It's good to stretch the legs. It's been suggested that I measure the length of the wire shelving and start asking what uh, the linear feet of wire shelving was that was collected. <laughs> so, if I go by the house today on the way back, 
we will measure. All right, well, we got some bed frame action going here. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, that thing broke. Yes. It's broke? Yeah. yeah okay, yeah. that's fine. If you take the toilet. Uh, no, I'm just here. Wait a minute. I'm not being rude. I just don't want to get you on my camera. <laughs> no, I so I just um, I, the ones that are broken, they just go to scrap metal. And the ones that work, I sell to a guy that sells beds. So cool. All righty. Thank you. Hello, satellite dish. What do you say? Let's go for a ride. Oh, we got a couple ballast lights, too. Cool. And the Romex is still connected. <laughs> That's good. And let's see. These ballasts, they'll take as ballast. Um, if it says electronic or electric ballast, then they just take it as shred. And let's see, what are you? You're just some ceramic stuff. Now then. I might take this off too because these feed horns in here, there can be a nice board. Uh, and the feed horns tend to be aluminum, whereas this stuff is steel. Yeah, sometimes they're aluminum, but I haven't found an aluminum one in a long time. That's alumin That's aluminum cast, steel, steel. And of course, the frame, uh, the uh, bracket is steel. <clears throat> How's this for bad? I'm in the middle of the street. We'll cut the cord off of that one a little bit. Too much plastic and junk on that. I'm getting rid of a lot of furniture here. Yeah, I saw the lights in that metal frame. Oh, they're all one thing. Okay. So, let's see here. Well, I think we're going by the house for a breakdown anyway, put you in there, and yeah, we'll take care of you later. <laughs> so, see the cord hanging out. What's on the other end of the cord? What's on the other end of the cord? Uh, I don't know what's on the other end of the cord. I have no idea what that is, but some sort of pump or something anyway. We'll just take the cord. All right, we'll swing by our construction site here. Back in construction site is the way I like to refer to it. Some of you may remember <laughs> that I set this stuff down last week and then completely forgot to come get it. <laughs> and I can't, here's the other thing, it's still here waiting for me. So,
there's the metal pipe that I forgot. Not gonna forget it this time though, am I? Nope. Hey, how y'all doing? Good, yourself? Doing alright, thank you. A little crisp this morning. Come back here, Grubber. I may need you still. have nearly the crushing force I used to have. <laughs> Lost a bit of weight. Eh, that's probably not a good thing. We'll probably reposition those. Reposition that right. Some place where it won't cause any damage. All right, let's see, what do we got going here? Nothing. They ever going to get this place done and open? I have no idea. We came from Tampa. Oh, okay. They've been working on this one for a while. Yeah. Every time I think they're done, they, they rip out a bunch of stuff and start over again, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is a pediatric associates. They're a, they must be a franchise or something. They're going up everywhere. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Ah. Oh. So you all deliver furniture for these places, huh? The yeah. Hey, while I keep checking this dumpster for stuff the construction folks have left behind, how about if you're enjoying this video, you go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. That's that little red button down there in the lower right-hand corner. 
Don't forget to click the bell so that you don't miss a single episode and tell all your friends so they can come join the shark as well. Insulated copper wire for me. Yeah, radio. Maybe a scanner of some sort there. Para sound. Equalizer. can stay where it's at. I'm not going to mess with that. I'm grabbing that because it's there. Steel wire. Nothing. Empty. Piece of conduit. Another piece of conduit here. I need a little piece of conduit. <laughs> okay. Another piece of conduit. Well, y'all have a good day now. First things first. Yeah, you guys can just go like you are. We'll pack that one up here a little bit. These are some sort of transformers here. So let's uh, go 
those can go with my electric motors and transformers. motors and stuff. Right, let's see. Where are your screws in there? without actually pulling it out. <laughs> that didn't want to work. Oh well. completely unload this thing, but I guess I got no choice. Alright, it's not completely unloading, but you know, it's more unloading than I wanted to do. Oh man. Come on. Still don't want to do you? In that case. That'll work. The Ian Matthews approach. When in doubt, Give it a clout, as some of my friends would say. Like I said earlier, this kind of transformer I can sell as a transformer. I've got a few more there, two more there. Nice of them to leave some Romex in here too for me.
You want to keep these these ends from the sock the sockets from the ballast lights because that's brass. You can clearly see that there. And we'll get after that after a little bit. What I might do is with this side here is see if this panel will come off and try to get that motor real quick. But this was really light, so I know that the that it does not have a transformer. Let's see if we can break this motor off of here real quick without too much trouble. No, we're going to have to pull it out. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the motor uh, off of the garage door opener. Uh. Or, you know, get the bar off, get the motor out. I'm also going to uh, do that microwave down like I talked about, driver. and I'm going to get the instrument panel off of the dishwasher. You all have seen me do this before, you've seen other people do this before, so I tell you what, rather than uh, bore you with all of that, how about let's just head on over to the scrapyard. How's it going? It's going good, man. How about you? Good, man. I can't complain. I try to stay active. That's good. <laughs> That's a good thing. You do a pretty good job, man. <laughs> you want me to move these doors for you? <laughs> Don't get carried away. <laughs> all right, all right. I don't have to. <laughs> Hey, we haven't played this for a while. What am I going to unload that you did not see me load? Not any one of the little tiny things or anything like that. Okay, you know, I wouldn't do that to you. It's pretty obvious. Pretty big and obvious. And there's three of them. So go ahead and leave your notes down in the comments below while I get this truck unloaded. Watch out now! I forgot we were being recorded. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing all right, Willie. How about you, man? funny though. Oh, out of the way now, chair.
one, dishwasher. Come with me. Come with me. If you've enjoyed this street scrapping video and want to see some more, I'm going to give you a link to my playlist right here. It's just going to pop up right here. And that'll take you to the playlist where I've got all kinds of street scrapping videos for you to enjoy. All right, everybody, have a great day.